Welcome in everybody. In this video, I am going to finish off the parts for the panel wagon. So I'm going to be working on parts 37, 38, and 39. So let's, let's get it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a 2D sketch. This is part 37. I'm going to click on my XY plane. I'm just going to draw a rectangle, two point center. We're going to start at the green dot origin. I'm going to drag this out. So 37 is, it is two and three quarters. Three quarters, hit the tab key. And then it is one and nine sixteenths. Hit the tab key, press enter, zoom out a little bit. Um, I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this backwards by one eighth of an inch. And hit OK. All right, so yeah, that's that. So then I want to just slap my material on here. I'm going to go to Autodesk Material Library. Look for mahogany. Click, I'm going to click the Autodesk Appearance Library for this one. And then look for the dark medium gloss. Fix our texture. I'm going to click on the image. Sample size 1, 1. And I'm just going to leave it just like that. Hit the X. Hit Apply. Cancel out. Cancel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to File, Save. This is Part 37. Part 37. Save it. All right, so moving on to Part 38. I'm going to go to File, New, English Standard, Create. For this one, I'm going to start off the same way as the other one. So Start 2D Sketch on the XY. I'm going to create a rectangle, two point center. Start the green dot. This one is going to be three and one eighth. In this direction, hit the tab key. It's two and three sixteenth. Hit the tab key, press enter. So then I'm going to finish my sketch. Gonna extrude this back by a half inch, one half. Hit OK. And then I want to fillet the um, the top edges. So I'm gonna go up to fillets. Where are you? Fillet. For the radius, I'm gonna choose um, three sixteenths. I'm going to select this top edge here and this back edge there. Hit apply. So there's that. And then I'm going to put our usual material on here, mahogany. And this one, dark medium gloss. Let's fix our double click texture. Let's change the scale to one, one, and let me rotate this 90 and see what this looks like. Hmm, yeah, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Hit the X, go to apply, hit the X, hit the X, file, save. This is part 38. 38. Hit save. All right, so the last part is the sign. So I'm going to go to um, File, New, English Standard, Create. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the XY. 
in here again, I'm going to create a rectangle, two point center. Let's see, 39, it says this is two and nine sixteenths. Tab, and then for the height of this is going to be one and three eighths. Hit the tab, press enter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to finish my sketch and then I'm going to extrude it. So this is really just like a sheet of paper. It says 20 pound paper. So I'm just going to extrude this by just a bare minimum. So let's say one sixty fourth. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm going to hit okay. Let me do it back this way. I don't know if it matters. Either way, we extrude it. Um, I'm going to hit OK. And then um, I'm going to, let me, hmm, should I put the texture on first and then the text? Yeah, let me do that. So first of all, I'm going to save this as, this is part 39. Actually, no, I don't have to do that. I'm, think, I'm trying to think, what should I do? Um, save it, part 39. I may have should have made that a little thicker or we can extrude it out. Okay, so um, for the texture, I wouldn't use the wood, maybe like a white. Um, what can we do? Uh, I'm looking at my list here. I should have had this already planned out. Come on, bro, make up your mind. Uh, what is this? Hmm, not sure about that. Uh, anyway, well, what about this steel paint? Oh, here we go. Um, ivory matte. That does not look very white. Over here. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. White. Oh, I will go. We'll go with that. I'll change the texture here. I don't really know if that's going to work. No image selected. Uh, all right, we'll leave it at that. Whatever. Anyway, so you can make that whatever color you want to, but. What we want to do is here we're going to, this is our sign. So you can put whatever writing you want onto it. So if I wanted to start my 2D sketch on, let's say this face here, I can go up to text and then just kind of pick where you want to start your text. And then in here you would put like whatever you want your sign to be. Bob's garage. I'll spell it right. Probably would want to select it all. Probably want to make it centered, justification. Maybe change the height of it. I don't know what the height would be. Oh, the height's over here. Oh, the height's here, duh. Um, so maybe that's, let's see what the height of our sign is. Like two inches. So maybe make this, let's try 0.5. And then hit okay. That's way too big. Cancel. Let's click this and move it. We can double click it. We can select it all. We don't want it to be 0.5. Maybe. Oh, 0.4. No, 0 0.4. 0 0.4. That might be good. So yeah, you can put your text, whatever text you want on here. And then what you can do is you can finish your sketch and you can actually extrude the text. So I'm gonna click extrude. What do you want to extrude? I want to extrude the text. So you can also, you can either cut the text into the material or have it stick out a little bit. So then hit okay. You kind of see it has like a little kind of raised letterings there. And if you wanted to kind of select 
your text only. I probably don't want to have this inside. I'm hitting the shift key and then clicking these inside areas to unselect those. And then you can come up here and look for another color that you like, maybe black. So it stands out. That didn't really stand. There it is. I was like, that didn't really stand out. So anyway, there. That looks pretty neat. So then we'll just this file, save. We already have it as saved as our part number 39. So that's kind of how you can do it. Just make it like a sheet of paper that's really thin and you can just add whatever text you want to it. And then you can either extrude it out or you can extrude cut it into your material. It just depends on what the thickness of your material is, is how far you can kind of uh, cut it into there if that's the way you want to go. But that is all our parts. So next thing we'll do is we'll start to assemble this all together. So make sure you come back in the next video. All right, peace.